Uh, you purchase a passport, $15, 50% of that is going to a ball, and you get a sample of all four cocktails, and then you can drop a ticket in and vote for your cocktail. With the bartender theme, though, uh, you can also set up a, we have tip bucket set up. So you can tip the bartender, which are 100% donations to A-Ball. Whoever has the most tickets and the most dollar amount at the end of the competition gets it. And the only stipulation is you had to use a West Six beer in each cocktail. Now, are you going to be participating as well? I am. Okay, awesome. So is this one of the things that you're going to have, or do you have some secret stuff? This is one of the drinks here. Okay. This is not mine. Uh, this is a preview. Oh, this is a okay. preview. Nice. This, is a, this is a drink crafted by a young lady that works with us by the name of Terry. And uh, she is uh, created something fantastic. Uh, it's fun for this is not only is it delicious, it's beautiful, but it's also utilizing the majority of it is Kentucky Proud product. Oh, Even baby. though this is Cachaca, this is actually made in Danville, Kentucky. Oh, wow. And it's one of the most fun words to yeah. say ever. Well, yes, yeah, so, so what are some of the ingredients? We're getting Brazilian what is, today. What, what ingredients do we have right here? Uh, so I'm he's, excited. He's this very is great. serious yeah. about okay. this. He's, he's not having a drink. I got, I got, the, I got the notepad <laughs> here. I'm like a journalist here. It's past noon. I think it's allowed. Uh, so the West Six Berliner Weiss, the Meadow Weiss. Okay. Which is a sour beer, yeah, so okay. wild yeast soured beer. Nice. Uh, she has taken that with a little bit of added sugar, but reduced it down. Okay. To where it became viscous, and, but she okay. reduced it with fresh blueberries. Oh, okay. Nice. And then she has taken the chasa and infused it with lemon peels. She filleted okay. lemons. That's and impressive. That. Yes. This looks great. These are your bartenders at Goodfellas right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So I'm guessing there's a little bit of a fun play between them right now. Like the build-up going. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's been yeah. going on for weeks. Did you have like a face-off last night where it's like, you know, the boxing? Where the well, <laughs> the majority of it was just as everybody's been coming with their cocktail and it just kind of happened in order. Every time somebody came with a cocktail, the next person were like, I don't know who's going to win. Mm -hmm. They're all so fantastic. Cool. Those are the best things well, ever. Well, tell me, you, you got this going on tonight. And yes. Then, and what are the details on the timing of it again? Okay, so, so it's starts at six okay come on in uh a ball will be set up they are going to have a booth so they can talk about what it is they do and what they bring to the community mm -hmm. um they are um, you go to the bar and you can actually purchase the passport for the cocktail competition thank goodness the weather is on our side yes. we're actually going to be set up on the patio oh, oh wow nice. okay now you're even up and, in and for folks that maybe haven't got to visit good fill us tell about where they're located in the yeah area. so we're located in the old james e pepper distillery we're actually inside the original boiler room of the distillery, and that is out in Manchester, 1224 Manchester Road, uh, right next to Break Room and Middle Fork and Ethereal Brewery. You have a great so, setup. Yeah. And speaking of setup, you have a great mini bar in our setup here. I did the best I could. So, Mike, <laughs> why don't we just get to it and start oh, yeah. making okay. this cocktail? Because right. uh, yeah. we want to taste it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, we, I'm, we, we're getting serious. Need, we need to record this here so we can re redo well, this. Well, while you're doing this, though, can you tell us why it's so important for Goodfellas, which isn't a brewery? Uh, beer week. So, uh, when they decided to open up the Wise Guy Lounge portion, the owners opened up in Covington first, and the bourbon really just started taking off, and we consider ourselves a bourbon bar, really. Uh, we try to have the best collection, we try to have the, you know, what we call the dusties, the rare ones, and then we also try to have just a big variety of all prices and ranges. However, when we finally opened up in Lexington, I think that all of us Kentuckians, most of us are blood type to money proof. We're just used to the bourbon, and everybody started going after the beers. There's such a good beer culture in there really Lexington. Is. Yeah. So we've been open for two and a half years. Uh, my first opportunity of actually getting to run a show and manage a bar, and I thought I was going to keep up with 380 bourbons, which is what we currently have. Wow. And instead, I'm juggling 16 beer taps. So <laughs> yeah. when we have the expert then to make up this drink. That is, I'm, I'm so excited that you're going to do this. Yeah. How do so we how, make, how do this make this drink? All right. So to make this drink, we're going to start out with our lemon juice. Okay. okay. We're going to do five You do tricks. Like, I need nice. to back up. Uh, I'm going to try not <laughs> to I'm going to give you all your space. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little bit nervous. So I'm going to try not to We can't tell. Syrup. Yeah. This looks great. I think you're saying okay, so this has would you say kind of a nice spring, <laughs> this kind of has a spring yeah, uh, taste to it. Kind of what we go. So when we do it, we change our cocktail menu every three months. Uh -huh. And everything is very seasonal. And uh, it's very... Right. We do fresh produce, and we try to make it thematic. Yeah. More warming, rich drinks uh, in the winter time, and then spring and summer. That's where the most fun. Is. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's when you get the bright and the patio. Uh, really colorful. Uh, absolutely. Now, is West Six? Are people from there going to be be uh, judging as well? Absolutely. So uh, <laughs> no pressure, guys. We will have pictures of the cocktails and whatnot, but the judging is strictly from the public. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, cool. absolutely. It is just all based on dollar amount and all based 
on up. And it's awesome to know that half of that $15 alone is going to go to AWOL because it's such an important organization and they're so active here in the community here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can't ignore the pizza, though. You're going to have pizza <laughs> available, right? Pizza will be available. Uh, so there's uh, always pizza available. That means available. you can drink That's more great. and then soak it up with the breadsticks <laughs> because they're huge and no, you've never seen a, them. You know, a continuous yeah. cycle, yeah. you know? It's for the good of Les Saints. This is a really pretty uh, drink. This is great, yeah. Wow. Okay, now you add the beer. Uh, yeah, there's beer in the syrup, then we're just going to give it a little bit of a floater on top. Uh, uh, stop shaking. That is a beautiful drink. Nice. That's one of the reasons why I chose this one. Uh, okay, so do we let it, the head, uh, go away, or do we just go right in? Just let that sit there, and then we're going to accent oh, that lemon juice. Not even juice. done yet. Uh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Jason, you guys crank, crank the craftsman right here. So. Yeah, we call it, I call it cooking for the liver. Yeah. We start, <laughs> the, we start in the kitchen, making our syrups, our adjuncts. We do foam drinks. You we really do. do. Reductions. And well, and I've seen you in action during a competition, and it, I think we went right up to you and we we're like, we need you on the show now <laughs> because <laughs> you you put on a fantastic show. All right, I'll we're gonna come back and try this, Mike. But stay with us. We'll be right back. We're gonna try the drink in action.